All right. All right, you guys. So I'm going to put down these, I decided to put down furring strips. All right, you guys, I just wanted to show you about where I was. I got all these furring strips in today. Obviously, I've got my sound deadening throughout. Um, and originally, when I wanted to put these in, I didn't want to drill into the floor. Well, I ended up drilling into the floor. All right, you guys, so I got all the floorboards um, cut for the flooring in my van. Uh, I just wanted to update you guys on that. And... I went ahead and I wasn't gonna do much, but I decided I would put at least a half inch uh, Artec foam boards and insulate the wheel wells um, before I put the flooring down. And what I did is originally, I was just putting these one by two uh, strips down um, and I ended up screwing them down to the floor. Um, this is an older van, so it is what it is. There's plenty of holes to start with that I had to seal anyway. Uh, but I looked at everything, obviously check it for yourselves, but um, I used three quarter inch screws. They barely poked through the bottom, but they, they pulled in real good and uh, pulled these uh, boards down. I had liquid nails and then I screwed them down. So originally I wasn't gonna do that, but that was just how it worked out. Um, and then I went through and I put in, like I said, the Artec. A few strategic places, I sprayed the uh, 3M adhesive. Um, it's a 3M77 adhesive that you spray on the back and then it just sticks down uh, real good. Spray both sides, it works better. And other than that, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this flooring down, but um, that's how I insulated it. And I also did, keep in mind, there's wides and then a skinnier section on these vans. This is the Chevy Express. Um, I did it on the wide sections and I put it low and then this uh, half inch just fits in just perfect. So anyway, um, that's it. And uh, we'll get the floorboards in. Um, I'll show you what the sub floor looks like when it's done. And uh, also I'm gonna put a uh, diesel heater over there. All right, you guys, so I got a Chinese diesel heater there. I'll uh, talk more about that in a little bit. Um, but I got the sub floor in. So it's a little dirty right now. Three quarter inch sanded birch. Um, I put it down, as you know, uh, on top of the wood strips that I'd put down. And as you can see, I screwed into the wood strips all the way down everywhere. So I put liquid nails down, then I screwed into the strips. And this is three sheets of plywood that I cut, I laid them down. And then when I screwed them down, it screwed down really tight on top of the liquid nails and then the strips. And uh, it worked really good. So as you can see, I put some lines in here. It's kind of hard to see because of the traffic I've already had on the subfloor. I'll have to sand this and clean it up later. But seeing that I put lines in there so I knew exactly where the furring strips were by finding them this way, looking underneath. And then in the back, you can see them. All the way down. And I've marked it with a straight edge all the way down. That way I could get the slope, the subfloor in here perfect. So it went down good. Um, uh, and then I started mocking up, as you can see, I put in some sound deadening panels, you know that. Um, and then I started just mocking up some uh, furniture here. So I'm gonna do like, that's where the sink will go. Probably some solar, I think. I'm gonna do a a modular kind of a box there and then we'll do a, a walkway in the middle so I'll kind of have to do a drawbridge type of bed and then another um, another box here another look at this is where I'll do a sink here with a salad bowl a couple of uh, water jugs down there one gray one fresh and I'm thinking this is where the solar is gonna go batteries underneath that box I was talking about I'm kind of throwing it around. That's why I'm mocking up this, uh, making basically it's like making cabinets. So you make cabinets. These can be 
put down on the floor, I use pocket screws that go down and it'll screw right to the floor. And then depending on where my furniture goes here, I'll put a board across the, all the way. So I'm kind of doing this a little, um, a little differently, but I think that in the long haul, it's gonna give me a better shot at just attaching all the boxes that I want, just the big furniture. And then, uh, then I'll just easily take it out, sand it, stain it, and then, um, and then I'll go through and uh, get all the insulation and get the walls in, and then I'll know that I have, um, I have everything kind of planned out. Then I can get it pre-wired, and then come in here and just put these modular pieces back in. Again, back in the back, I'm about ready to do a couple back here. I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. And again, you guys use these pocket screws. They work really good when you're building your stuff, okay? And I use a Craig jig. Check this out. So Craig, not like anything sponsored here, but this is really good stuff. Let's spend the extra money and get this, get this jig. It works so good. That's what it looks like. And it's really nice because I'll show you simply put it right here I have it set for three quarter inch wood let's just say that I want a couple of pocket holes in this thing I come in here and slide this down doing this with one hand obviously take this back slides in like that and then you lock it in like that and honestly you guys I could put the drill here, here, here. I cut on my hand out. And uh, drill pocket holes this way. Obviously, make sure you get your pocket holes on the right side and obviously um, measure it out correctly, but it's that easy and it works so good because you can glue it, drill it, and um, it's clean. So anyway, if you don't know much about that, just look at a few videos on uh, this jig and I'm sure they're out there, but. put glue right along that edge pop those down right there put in four screws done you right, guys so I put a little bit of glue that's my cat Ding. we're gonna go ahead and uh, I'll smooth it out I'll drop this down on here I'll put in the four pocket screws I'll use that bar clamp right there to snug it down actually I'll put this down put the bar clamp on there to clamp it and then i'll put in the four pocket screws and uh i'll probably put a little bit of a square on it make sure we get square anyway that's it hope that helped out and uh, let's build these boxes all right you guys so i did the diesel heater it's an 8kw um probably a little big for the van but um man it works really good so anyway i decided to put it right there i'm going to do a little cabinet build with a little bar top or another cabinet over the top and then all the heat comes out the front i've already tested it and it kind of just circulates and just pushes back real nice it also allows to heat up the cab a little bit as well if you're driving um, and you're using this thing anyway it was easy to do Kind of a bear, but you can see I do have the fresh air inside right now. I'm going to try that. I don't think that'll be a factor, but if so, I can easily, I have a hole drilled. Um, it's back here, right behind the black tube, where I could take the fresh air out if I want. Currently, I didn't do that, um, and uh, but I prepped for it just in case. And then I'm planning on doing a little cabinet build in here. Um, 
and then we'll do something nice here for the tread but I just ran the exhaust in the fresh air you can see the exhaust goes through there and I don't know if you can see it or not but I drilled the hole right through there and then it comes down here let me see if I can get you down there my hands all on the camera but it's pretty muddy right now but comes back and I'm in total mud but anyway that's the exhaust right there kind of dirty right now but um, that was it and it works good so anyway if you're looking to do a heater that's the way I did mine and um, like I said I'll build a nice cabinet you won't even know it's there you'll just see the cool stuff on the front you'll be able to easily get in here and do the adjustment so anyway that's how I did it I uh, hope that helps you guys and uh, see you